um, when I can to um, the relevant platforms. So um, I'm just really waiting for you to sort of join me, as it were, at the moment. So, as it were, just a moment, going to, that's really so, annoying. As it were, just a moment, going to, that's really so, annoying. As it were, just a moment, going to, that's really so, annoying. It's just super annoying, but um, I'm just showing, I'm, I'm just sharing um, the uh, video. Um, it's not quite time for us to be live, but we are. Um, but um, anyway, yeah, whilst I'm waiting for people to, to join us, um, I'm just going to go over um, what this live video is about. It's basically about hobbies and interests. Um, what have you... Um, been doing during this lockdown? Have you got more uh, creative? Um, have you got more, um, are you doing um, more stuff or perhaps less stuff um, during the lockdown? We're all unique. Um, basically, um, that's, that's the thing. Um, some people might have benefited from the lockdown. Have you benefited from it in, in any way? Uh, let me know, comments below, guys. So, what a nice lot of comments there. What, what have you been up to? What have you been doing during this um, lockdown period? Um, is it the best thing that's ever happened to you? Um, or is it the worst thing that's perhaps ever happened to you? Um, as I say, comments below. And obviously... Don't forget to subscribe to my uh, channel below. Um, I pointed upwards um, when I was promoting the video on my Instagram uh, because it's upwards, but um, on um, YouTube, you hit the notifications button and the subscribe button, obviously below me here. So um, there we are. We're, we're almost ready um other minute to go um according to the ticking clock in front of me i'm just gonna remove the ticking clock because uh, some of you have said that this is rather annoying and i agree it is rather annoying because it goes tick 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 and um, i've actually taken it out of my bedroom not because it was annoying me but i think possibly it might have been Annoying um, some friends that live um, literally very close to me. So obviously the clock was removed from the bedroom. Um, I'm going to put it back in the bedroom for the time being, but it's not going to be in the bedroom tonight when we're trying to sleep. So just get rid of this clock. You won't hear it going tick, 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 which is really, 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 really fucking annoying. So there we are. Um, so um, have a look at my phone. Um, we're actually there now. So if anything, a little bit late. Um, so... Anyway, um, but yeah, hi to you, Nicholas, um, and hi to um, Janeway39, um, hi to that man, <laughs> and um, hello to Carl Green. So, but yeah, Carl, you're 
hobbies are annoying to us. Um, um, and what, what a, well, um, yeah, let's have a look here. This is a good one. Um, so, Nicholas, uh, so you're smoking weed, are you? Um, well, um, I'm not sure about that one. Um, for uh, medicinal purposes, I think um, that it could be an idea. Um, no, I haven't done it myself, um, but um, they actually say that um, some of these things are less harmful than smoking. So um, that there is um, an argument, um, I think, quite possibly um, for, for relaxing certain rules. <coughs> excuse me, rules around it. So um, I've never actually done it myself. Um, obviously, I want more um, evidence that it actually helps people. Then, uh, then quite possibly, maybe I could, could, could jump on board even. Um, with it, but uh, there has to be more evidence um, around it. So, has anybody else uh, got anything else that they've um, that they want to perhaps um, look into? Um, possibly, um, has anybody um, been doing anything? Um, so, um, anybody? Um, done anything differently with their lives um perhaps um, maybe um you found something interesting to possibly do um on, on online or um or otherwise or um are you playing games online or um what have you what have you been doing let's have a look here So um, let's have a look. So um, Jerry has been digging a pond. Um, that sounds pretty interesting. Um, I watched something was it two weeks or three weeks ago on um, Country File. Um, Somebody, um, one of the presenters, um, was was making a pond in their garden um, for wildlife. Um, your ponds can be any size, um, I I gather. Um, something as small as a washing up bowl, um, depending on how much room you've got in your garden. Um, it could be quite an interesting... Um, thing to to actually do um so um so yeah um possibly um do that even because um if you're not able to um do anything else you might go to work or whatever um why not um dig a pond but um, I remember um, when I was a small boy, um, I remember going to the garden centre with my parents. Um, I remember thinking the um, sort of pond linings, as it were, the sort of fiberglass linings. Um, I remember sort of thinking that they're sort of like little paddling pools. I suppose that's what they are, really. Um, but um, I think it's surprisingly simple to do. Um, it's all you'd have to really do, um, I'd imagine. It's just sort of dig um, an area out, um, the size and the shape of this sort of line. It'd have to be a little bit bigger, I think, because you'd have to be able to get it in to the ground easily uh, to, to be able to uh, make sure that... Um, 
in sort of uh, filling the uh, sides and um, then um, of course fill it with water um, tadpoles wildlife a bit of earth to go in and so that things can survive and thrive within it um, to be honest to be quite frank I've got no real knowledge about this sort of hobby at all I'm just really guessing um, but people have said they sort of put a little bit of mud in and a bit of plant life and water lilies you name it it can go in there and um, would it be a natural one or man made one So, um, yeah, let's have a look. Anybody, um, any more um, comments? Um, comments below. Comments below and subscribe to my channel. So we need your subscription, guys, because otherwise it'll be too little pip. So and there we go. Let's have a look at this new comment here. Say hello to Matthew Stone. Hello to you, sir. Uh, a comment there from that man. What's your name, that man? Um, but anyway, hello to you, Matthew Stone. Um, hope you are okay and enjoying the lockdown as best you can. Um, there's a comment here from uh, Kevin um, Lynn. Link, I think it is. Um, how am I coping? He asks, how am I coping with the lockdown? Um, it's still um, actually not too bad. Um, I've been um, largely living my life online, really. And um, I mean, it's been a little while since I've been doing any live um, videos. Um, I didn't think I was going to get many people joining me at all. And um, this live video very nearly didn't go ahead, actually. Um, but I'm glad to say that um, we had enough uh, viewings uh, to, to actually do the live video. So so that's, that, that's really good, um, actually. And um, Jeremy asks... Do I have a favourite Top Gear presenter? Uh, they're, they're all hilarious. They, they, they really are. Um, they sort of um, go on and basically behave like schoolboys, which I think is hilarious. Um, because I remember us um, when I was at school, we were all on our bikes and outdoing each other, trying to outdo each other and all sorts of silly things we used to do. And um, But I'll never forget that time, you know, a number of times, loads of times that I fell off my bike, whether it be at school or at home or whatever. But I can remember um, I was messing about at school with my friend um, and I remember I used to ride my bike like the wind um, because we used to um, have this thing where we could it was wide open to fraud actually it really really was it was just hilarious teachers know what was going on um, but used to save up um, tokens you used to buy out to something nice that that you enjoyed doing um and um i remember i brought out it cost me four tokens to um go out on a bike in the playground and um, same for my friend as well he did the same out on the bike in the playground and um we took it in turns to have the best bike and i had the best bike on this uh, given occasion and um, I can remember um, 
my friend was just passing by and could have been much 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 worse but we were lucky um i rode out on the bike and wasn't looking where i was going hands up my fault entirely i went straight into my friend he wasn't injured he wasn't injured but i was and it served me right hurt my shoulder right shoulder i mean his shoulders still terrible don't think it's as bad as it was but still terrible um injured my shoulder then but it got better um but again my fault doing funny things later on um injured my shoulder but we're going off the subject a bit here um so yeah um i injured myself he wasn't badly hurt thank goodness um so i remember scar on my head as well split my head open but it wasn't bad enough to the point where i had to go to the hospital it's just literally injury and um home for the weekend or oh, it hurt the whole weekend my shoulder did but um within a few days it did actually get better and i was back to normal again but <laughs> so yeah and what's my opinion on private schools um well um my brother was educated in a private school um but but i wasn't because i got a good state school um i should say it was the best state school possible um i mean in, in my time at that school a lot of it wasn't very good um i have to say um because we didn't have a proper <laughs> we didn't have a proper curriculum um and um I don't know really um i remember for some of the time i mean there was a teacher who was good or she thought she was but um i remember it's literally maths english maths english maths english maths english day in day out week in week out boring 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 um i remember when i was into um i mean again there was a lot of maths and english and i remember during the summer break of course because that there was flexible um school breaks um i remember um we didn't do much of the old maths and english um much to my relief um and there wasn't so many of us in the um, class because people went on holiday so um that was actually quite a good thing um not having to do any work um but as soon as it was all over of course back to the maths and english but i remember as a boy um when i was in the juniors um if you were a little bit naughty and had to be sent outside you felt terrible you felt awful at being sent out um there was one other lad there who was a naughty and got sent out a lot more frequently than we were and there was another lad there who had severe autism and learning difficulties etc and he was in trouble but it wasn't really being naughty nice bloke but um threw something hard at me and hit me on the head and split my head open which was horrible but there you are i mean i weren't watching him but 
that, that was it, you know, sort of tough luck um, in those days, really. Uh, you had to put up, shut up, and carry on sort of thing. And um, anyway, uh, I remember when I went into the middle school when I was nine years old. I mean, really, I was a bit young to be in there, but uh, there was room. There wasn't room in two, so, of course, it was up you go. And so <laughs> I moved in there. Oh, my God. Um, there was three of them um, who weren't autistic, who were just difficult they were a handful, and um, I can remember they messed about, and I was a bit intimidated, to be honest, at first, but um, they were constantly being sent outside the door, and there was often more than one person in trouble, so they couldn't send two outside the door because they were in mayhem. So I remember the teacher converting the, um, the the cupboard into a sort of time out room because you couldn't put two out at once. It was just inconceivable because you brought mayhem out there. So I can remember the shame of being sent outside the door just evaporated into thin air for me. So I kind of become like sort of one of the lads and, you know, sort of who can cause the most bother. And so anyway, um, I remember it was one of us in the timeout room and one of us um, outside the door and all that sort of stuff when, when there was two of you misbehaving because... In, in the end, it just became too much. You couldn't send the pair of us out. So, but I remember there was one lad, he was only small, but he caused the most bother. He was sent in the time out room, he'd scream and shout, holler, all sorts of stuff. And so, in the end, of course, I remember the teacher going, Right, well, we'll simply have to have a walk around the playground. So, this bloke was doing us a favour, getting us out of lessons. So, because it was so boring. But um, there we are. Um, so, what else is there? Um, right. Um, do I like Jacob Rees Mogg? Um, well, do I like him or do I dislike him? That's the thing. Um, Let's just say um, I agree with a lot of stuff that he's doing. He wants to get us um, on the right track, I think. So um, I, I agree with him, but I'm not sure that I would, would agree with him on everything, though. Um, so um, any, um, any other comments, um, any other things that... Any other hobbies um, that people are in, engaging in that they perhaps wouldn't have um, in, um, in in recent years, um, recent months, um, because the world has changed beyond recognition. Um, what have you all been doing during this um, this lockdown? Um, any more comments? Um, that um, you're perhaps up to recently. Um, obviously, share this video far and wide. Um, keep sharing to your friend's Facebook, your friend's YouTube channel. Um, somebody said, well, Will says, opinion on granulated sugar. Um, I don't know, really. <laughs> um, and um, so Jeremy says, is 5G dangerous? Um, to be honest, I, I really don't 
No. Um, I mean, I don't. I only used a phone over Wi-Fi. So, um, but 5G is absolutely everywhere. Um, so, I really don't know. Um, but there are people who think it is. And some have even said that it's contributing to the coronavirus. Um, I really don't know um, whether it is or not. But um, right, a shout out here. Um, shout out to my two friends, Connor Carfright and Brad Jones. So that's Connor Carfright and Brad Brad Jones. Um, Hi to you. Um, hope you are well during this lockdown. Um, uh, so, so that's another one. You obviously share this far and wide. Keep sharing. Keep subscribing to my channel. Um, and um, let's get um, more people subscribing. And then we can do more live videos, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, there's another one here. Um, well, um, I'm indifferent really to, to all, um, um, religions. Um, I, I mean, I don't, um, discriminate, uh, try not to try to, um, be fair to, to everybody. That's the philosophy, um, I think. And, and hi to um, Melly there. I think it is. Um, hope you're doing well during this lockdown. Um, so, favourite weather spoons carpet design. Um, I really don't know. It's been years since I've been in there. Um, I really wouldn't know, um, Charlie. <laughs> um, I haven't really got an opinion on that, quite frankly, because um, I don't normally, um, I don't bother about going to these places um, for the simple reason there are a lot of money. Um, I mean, we must try and get the economy back going again, if possible, really. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you very much for that. Um, so, so anybody, anybody else got anything else that they perhaps want to um, discuss or comment on, um, et cetera, et cetera? Um, let's have a look. <laughs> uh, what do you say? For, what do you call the Spanish peeping Tom? That's easy. Senor Willy. I wonder where that came from um, originally. Um, but there are a number of people who have, um, who have actually said that recently. So, um, but I really don't know where that one's come from, um, quite frankly. But uh, my life, um, yeah, pleasure. But your life after the undateables, um, well, um, uh, pretty, um, I'd say pretty normal, really. Um, I mean, still, when I go out, um, people do come up to us and, and say hi. Um, and I, I actually love it um, when people do that. Um, it's been a little bit less um, since um, the lockdown because people don't like to get too close. Um, I mean, I still wouldn't mind. I mean, come up and say hi. Um, 
because I like it when you come up and say hi. Um, so um, I wouldn't have said my life has gone back to being anonymous because there's no chance that I'm going to be anonymous because I put myself out there online and everything. So I'm going to keep doing it. Um, obviously, um, hopefully, um, with a bit of luck, um, I don't know, but with a bit of luck, hopefully they will film the Undateables again, um, the Christmas special or otherwise, um, but still hope that they will do it. I'm willing to do it. I'm willing to do it. I'm absolutely willing to have people there filming me. Um, I really, really, really don't mind. I enjoy it. I love it. So, you know, obviously, come and film me. I don't mind. Um, so there we are. Um, but, um, I mean, under normal circumstances, I would go off and see my friend. But, um, you know, um, I mean, it all rests with people not being too scared sort of thing so um i can't just consider myself here i've got to consider other people where well, they might still be anxious about catching it etc etc um so anyway any more um, any more comments any more ideas any more uh topics of uh conversation um any more um Let's have a look. Any more? Surely, 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 surely. Uh, some some of you have got more ideas and tricks up your sleeves uh, for. Um, and um, thank you, Will, for your subscription. Um, if you subscribe now, I will read you out um on here um so thank you for your subscription will um and um any more um comments but yeah i, I love daniel's singing um he's brilliant um i think uh, great laugh when he's on the undateables um i really do laugh <laughs> he's more funny than me i think that's saying something um i think your favorite joke at the moment i don't know but uh i think my favorite joke at the moment has got to be senior willy what do you say for Spanish peeping Tom? Senor Willy. And do I speak to anybody else? I've spoken to um, a few of them over the time. Um, I've met Shane um, and um, Justin. And um, also I've met Michael, not in the flesh, but over... Um, Facebook, um, all that sort of thing. Um, so, so, yeah. Um, any, uh, any more um, comments? Any more? I wonder. Uh, anybody got anything else? Any more? Um, any more um, topics? Do, 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 how many more? Do, do you want to? sort of uh, discuss anything else um, anything else um do you want to um discuss it um and don't forget obviously um if um if you subscribe now to the channel i will um, i will give you a mention um so um there we are um anybody else 
And um, how was being on TV with your Asperger's? Um, well, um, it, to start with, it was all a bit sort of surreal, um, really. Um, when I did the first episode, um, I always wanted to be on telly. So um, that was obviously a brilliant thing for me, uh, getting on to telly um because obviously um i never really thought that i would get on telly but um it was a case of being in the right place at the right time and it did have a purpose as well don't forget um i uh, i wanted to um get on there and um have a bit of fun um, but it did have a purpose. Um, it wasn't just about getting on telly. It really, really wasn't. Uh, the main issue was to find love and still is. So there we are. Can you do a celebrity impression? Um, well... Um, my favourite one, he wears glasses, just like I do, sometimes, not all the time, but these are actually my reading ones, so, uh, but my favourite one, um, I think has got to be, let's see, Robert Peston, ITV News. I mean, I have to say nothing against the guy. I mean, it's not everybody's cup of tea, but but there you go. So just put those back in their case where they belong. And now did I... It's running away with me here. And how did how was being on camera with well, we've had that one, so um and how did I come across on the undateables? Well uh, I'm blowing my own trumpet here, I think very well. And do I get paid to be on the undateables? Um, well, I wish. But um, it's a documentary, you see, and um, documentaries... Um, you don't actually get paid at all uh, for the documentaries, um, unfortunately. But uh, that's uh, that, that's life, um, unfortunately. But um, you're paid in other ways, in the sense you enjoy doing the program. And there's and there's the prospect of finding love as well. Best of night, you use. Another comment here. Are you still an amateur radio enthusiast? Well, I'm still licensed. Um, but I have to say that social media, this sort of stuff, has actually taken over. I have to say that um, that's what's happened. So there we are. Um, so, um, yeah. Yeah. Anybody else got anything else that they want to uh, discuss? Um, let's have a look. New comment here, I think. And what's your favourite song band? Um, I think it's got to be um, Fuzzbox. Um, some of you might not know that some of you might know it um 
But um, I remember Fuzzbox very well in 1989 with Pink Sunshine, International Rescue, all that of stuff. Yep, I like it. It was it was brilliant. And shout out to the band Chaos in Tea House, whatever that is, I don't know. But um, I'm not very well up on um, today's um, pop music, um, really. In fact, there's a lot that I haven't actually heard in in my lifetime because uh, I only listen to um, Heart 80s. Um, that's my my favourite um, station. Um, I actually like that because you even have it. Um, you can tune into the the era that um, you like, which I think is marvellous. Oh, they're, they're number one in the charts, are they? <laughs> Um, and I also like um, Nick Kamen as well. Um, I remember him very well. In 1986, that one was. Um, I remember to power Ch China in your hands, that sort of thing. Um, some of you won't know what I'm talking about um, because... The majority of you, I think, um, are a lot younger than me. Let's see this new comment. Brett uh, Munjay. I don't know, really. And do you ever... about doing talks in schools about being a TV celebrity thing with Asperger's and a great way. Well, well um, we've done um, one or two um, talks. Um, I did one at the, uh, the WI um, a while back. Uh, we, we, we did that. So, um, so, so, so yes, um, that could be um, a possibility, but um, obviously the schools, they're not open at the moment, so um, we're not going to be doing anything anytime soon, but nonetheless, brilliant idea. So you never know um, about that. Um, you never know what's around the corner these days. Um, so um, it's trying times, but I think it'll lead to different times, more interesting times maybe. And um, so there we are. What make is the clock behind me? Very good question. Let's find out, shall we? I'll just grab it off the wall. <sighs> It's 23 already. Um, I don't know, actually. I mean, it's... Um, have a look for yourself. That's probably the best thing. Um, so I'll just hold it up there for you. Um, Is it Cornish? I don't know. Um, I mean, to be honest, um, this particular clock um, isn't keeping time very well. Um, also, of course, the um, the inside is getting a bit sort of um, corroded. Um, recently unfortunately so um 
No. I mean, I can see myself doing it. <laughs> um, the thing on this blinking clock. Um, it's made in Japan. But um, unfortunately, it's not um, what I would call um, the best lock that I've got in the house. Um, it's a bit sort of... Um, the battery is a bit corroded, um, the battery area is a bit corroded. Um, so I think that possibly before too much longer, um, this will quite possibly um, end up in the bin. Um, it's a shame that my granddad's not, not alive because um, I think probably I'd have given it to him and he would have um, probably have... Um, Taken the base off and possibly have put a new battery compartment in. I mean, I don't know whether you've done away with the pendulum, but um, sometimes it does stop and it's not very good at keeping time always. So um, it might be that it's on its last legs. So but it's a shame. It's a nice little clock. So, but. Um, the ticking clock that's in front of me where I'm trying to read the time is kind of taking its place really. So I'll just put that back. And of course you start the pendulum going as well. So but um so that's the clock behind me. Um it wasn't mine originally. Um the lady that lived um in in one of the flats in my um block um her mother went into her home and um all of a sudden there was a at the door one day and she said would you like this clock so i said well with pleasure i've always liked that clock but I never ever thought that in a million years it would ever be mine. Right, so any more comments? Any more new um, comments? Uh, what's that? Do I have an OnlyFans? Um, I don't know what that is. To be honest, any more comments? Any more subscribers? If you subscribe to the channel, just have a look on my Facebook and see if there are any more. Um, don't think there's any. I mean, I apologize if I've missed any of you out. Uh, let me know if I've missed any of you out. If you've subscribed to the channel, I will endeavor to give you a mention. So, there we are. Um, so um, if there isn't any more um, comments, any more ideas, um, we'll wrap things up in, um, in a moment. Um, just as I'm about to wrap things up, there's another comment. And do I believe in psychics and mediums? Um, Sometimes um, I um, I do um, kind of um, predict the future. I get feelings that I'm kind of, sort of not alone, if you like. Um, so um, to a certain degree, I do. Um, I do believe in that sort of thing, uh, but be very careful because there are a lot of 
scammers out there who will do anything or say anything to get at your money. And uh, believe you me, uh, people have tried to do that with me. But guess what? It doesn't work. So there we go. And um, Jeremy says, have I seen a ghost? Well, the answer to that is yes, I have. Um, I didn't know what I was seeing uh, when I was when I was very young. Uh, this happened to me, and later on in life, it happened to me again. Um, when I was about thirteen years old, um, I can remember um, there was this young girl around about the same age as we were 12 13 something like that um i remember we went to this um place when i was in the scouts and um we saw this young girl wandering around there was a few of us uh, that went to this place and um so we were a bit annoyed at uh, being there, but we couldn't tell her to go off because it was sort of um, common land, if you see what I mean. And um, I remember saying rude things to her, get off, and all that sort of stuff. And one of my friends went, get off. And, um, but kept on coming back um, throughout that weekend. So anyway, um, we went home um, at the end and never saw her ever again. I never saw her again. So um, when I was 35 years old, I decided I'd go back to exactly the same place in... Um, in my um, car or van, whatever it was I was driving at the time. So I went back and um, I saw the same girl again, right down to the scar on her forehead. It was fresh at the time and ripped skirts, all that sort of stuff. I just got in my car and I drove. I was absolutely spooked because I knew full well that somebody couldn't remain exactly the same as they were when they were like 14 years old. So I come to the conclusion that it was a ghost that I saw on both occasions. And if it was a joke, it was going to be a really sick joke so there we are but um any more comments but yeah that is crazy that is crazy but life is like that but i've never seen anything like it before or since not like that anyway um you do get i mean i suppose what it was was probably like a sort of um imprint impression on the landscape i suppose it could be but i remember one of the little ones going um which came off the ground about a foot and was walking on air and of course we laughed at the mickey <laughs> favorite meal um, it's got to be curry. It's absolutely got to be curry. Um, and any um, any females in my life at the moment? Um, I'm still looking, but um, there we are. I mean, I'm enjoying life. Any more comments before we wrap things up, guys? 
animal. I mean, do I like children? Well, I mean, I'm indifferent, really, um, to children, really. Um, I mean, I wouldn't have children myself, um, put, it, put it like that. I wouldn't want the responsibility of um, bringing children up, um, certainly not at my age, um, certainly not when I was younger, no. But... Um, I mean, I don't mind other people as long as they're good and don't cause an issue. Can you do a shout out for my daughter Willow? But yep, hi to uh, hi to you there, Willow. Um, hope you um, are okay there. Um, so yes, hi to you. Um, Anybody else want any shout-outs um, at the moment? So um, I can do them. Um, ideally, you will subscribe to my channel. No? Right, so I think with that, I will wish you all the very best um and um hope to uh, catch you all again soon um and so i wish you seven three and a very good afternoon and a shout out to april and may june july august or whoever you may be so um, i will wish you the very best and um, hopefully, well, we'll do another live video soon. The 7-3, of course, just touch on this, is um, best wishes in amateur radio. So I've said it before. So 7-3, um, a very good afternoon to you all.